Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Here at TYT Sports, we try to answer the most pressing questions in the world of sports. Tonight's is cycling better than hockey. Representing hockey, Michael Shore. Representing cycling, Dave Cole. Dave? We agreed to list the top five reasons, uh, and I'm going to start with reason number six. Cycling is better than hockey because in cycling, you can actually see the cyclists on the road rather than have a key component of the game nearly invisible to the TV audience. What's the key component of the game that's completely invisible in hockey? The puck. The puck is right there. That's your retort? My I, retort I, is I, the I'm puck is on nothing. the ice. It is black on top of white. And also, when you talk about watching cycling, the fans are right up against the glass, right up against it for the entire duration of the game. Not for like a six, like tenth of one second moment where the cyclist whizzed by, ah, and that's the end of it. Can we move on? I won that point. I'm going to give that point uh, to Dave. Thank you. Point number five, cycling is quiet and enjoyed in the great outdoors with some of the most beautiful scenery and villages in the world as a backdrop. That no one can go see because it's always someplace else in the world. Cycling takes place very far away. So there's like a select people, group of people that go see it all the time, once a year, every year. And yeah, that's because it. everyone loves to go to Hartford to see the Whalers play and enjoy <laughs> right. downtown okay. Hartford. <laughs> Hartford doesn't have an NHL team. Dude. Can we move on to point number four? Let's move on. <laughs> that was tough to score. I'm going to give it to Michael with the Hartford rally at the end. <laughs> Nearly all cyclists have a complete set of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Which matters not at all, first of all. I mean, it, it, nobody can see them because they're going by so fast. It doesn't matter whether they have teeth or not. Do you have any points? Of I have my points. I'm going bed? through your points. I have all my points here. Oh, okay. We're going through your points. Do you want me to go no. list some of my points now? Next point. A bike race is not interrupted all of a sudden when all the cyclists get off their bikes and start having a fist fight with each other. No, instead it's interrupted for a day because they just stop until they go to the next stage. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, you won teeth, Dave, but Michael won that point. <laughs> My point number two of the top six reasons that cycling is better than hockey. There's a tradition of successful Latin American and Spanish cyclists, and any sport or any activity that has a lot more Latin American participation <laughs> is inherently a better and more fun sport or activity. The reason that I disagree with that is because hockey doesn't have a tradition of Latin American and Spanish uh, players and participants, which makes it such a great sport. All right. <laughs> I give myself that one. I hope yeah, the judges that's, agree. That seems fair. But Scott <laughs> Gomez did win the Stanley yeah. Cup. And the number one reason that cycling is better than hockey, the greatest cyclist of all time is an American named Armstrong. And the greatest hockey player of all time is probably some fairy with a French name like Le Fleur. Right, and this, this American named Armstrong has won all his games where? France. Okay. I, rest, I rest my case Taking there. American greatness to the rest of the world. Well, uh, it's our best export. Whatever you want. Uh, Michael, it's, uh, I think it's basically tied, so it really it, could go either way. That's, real, that's, that's exciting. Uh, in, in, first of all, the refs skate. That's a really important thing that makes hockey better. The refs are skating around, and they're conditioned athletes. They're fantastic. And, uh, and the fact that they're part of the action, everybody knows their names, a really appealing part of hockey. Whenever you, the refs or the umpires are a part of the game, it distracts from the sport. They, they should be invisible. But the, no, but that's what makes it, it's like a big family of hockey fans, participants, refs, everybody. The number, the next thing about that is the nicknames in hockey. They have, for example, your nickname would be Kohler <laughs> if you played hockey. Because they, they add ER or SY to everybody's names. And, and that is what, what makes hockey so great. It's so simple. They don't have these fancy French foreign names playing in other countries. They have, th those are their names, and then they sort of bring them down to be like cute, good nicknames. And that's part of hockey's appeal, is that it's uh, accessible. All right. Okay, I'm gonna give that one to Michael. <laughs> Shirzy wins that one. Uh, in, in, um, in hockey, they call jerseys sweaters. In cycling, I, they probably call them kits or something like that. No, they like call that. them jerseys. They call them the yellow jersey. Yeah. Yeah. There's no team in hockey that has a yellow jersey. If you had a yellow jersey in hockey, you were the California Golden Seals, the Oakland Seals. Uh, they were out of the league right away. 
any sport that has a yellow jersey as their best for their best player, ridiculous. What about the Lakers? Exactly. That's <laughs> yeah. So back back to the NBA. Pittsburgh Pirates. The NBA I mean, loses to both of these. <laughs> Pittsburgh Penguins. Since you got yellow, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean? The, the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Penguins wore like a, a a yellow jersey once in a throwback fun, like mocking the the Tour de France. I think is why they did it. <laughs> Uh, and really, first of all, the, the trophy, can you tell me what the tr Tour de France trophy looks like? No, I of think course it's a little cup. I think it's a little cup, exactly. <laughs> I think, I'm not even gonna make my point, and I'm gonna win that one, okay? okay? Uh, and, but the number one reason that hockey is better than cycling is because hockey isn't cycling. <laughs> oh, please. That's tautological. That's it. <laughs> Uh, Dave, uh, he came at you pretty hard. Do you, have a, do you have a sort of a final statement to make regarding cycling? Yeah, I'll give all the reasons that are so awesome they didn't even make the top six. Cycling is both an individual and a team sport at the same time simultaneously. A multi-stage cycling race is, a, is not just an athletic event, it's a complete festival with a party at the beginning, a party at the end, and a party all throughout the course. Much more people know how to ride a bicycle than know how to ice skate. And... Uh, now those are my final points. <laughs> <laughs> that was your last diff, ditch effort to save your cause? Yes. Okay, well, it, I think it, it failed. I think that, that cycling, the Tour de France, like, I, you know, like the running of the bulls, is an event that everybody should watch and take a look at for a moment every summer, and then it goes away. Some of our points didn't make any sense that, like that. <laughs> No, that point makes a lot of sense. Yours is like it's it, yours is an event. It's a once a year event. It's not a, it's not a, a sport that that you but know it's requires not. I'm watching. I'm not saying the Tour de viewing. France is better than hockey. Cycling goes on all throughout this whole season. But nobody knows that. No, Americans don't. Can we end this? <laughs> well, Dave, it was tough to score. You were so passionate there at the end. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but I'm afraid, and as much as it pains me to say, I'm afraid that hockey is better than cycling. It's the final. It's Let's the final see what the audience that. says in the comments below this video. Um, uh, as to whether hockey is better than cycling. Like watching hockey. Hockey is a spectator sport. Stay tuned to TYT Sports. We'll cover <laughs> soccer, hockey, tennis, cycling, baseball, football, all this stuff. Wait, wait, all right cycling here. before baseball and football <laughs> just now on that list? <laughs> Now you're getting cocky. All right. TYT Sports.